टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ब्रिज टाइप स्टेप अप साइक्लो कन्वर्टर इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस मिड पॉइंट स्टेप अप साइक्लो कन्वर्टर इन दिस साइक्लो कन्वर्टर वी आर यूजिंग टोटल एट थायरेस्टर्स फोर थायरेस्टर बिलोंग्स टू वन सेट and another four thyristors belongs to another set that is thyristor t1 t2 t3 t4 belongs to one set and thyristor s1 s2 s3 s4 belongs to another set in this uh, cyclo converter a load which is of resistive in nature is connected between two points that is point a and o in bridge type cyclo converter the thyristors t1 t2 and thyristor s1 s2 conducts during positive half cycle of ac input while thyristor t3 t4 and s3 s4 conducts during during the negative half cycle of ac input now we will discuss the waveform of bridge type step up cyclo converter in this waveform as we can see that during positive half cycle of ac input thyristor t1 t2 and s1 s2 works while during negative half cycle thyristor t3 t4 and s3 s4 will work in this waveform we can also look around that during positive half cycle this full positive half cycle is broken down into three sub cycles broken down into three sub cycle that is cycle number 1 cycle number 2 and cycle number 3 and again during negative half cycle this full negative half cycle is broken down into three sub cycle that is cycle number 1 cycle number 2 and cycle number 3 so a full ac cycle is broken down into six sub cycles that is we have converted we are converting actually 50 hertz ac into 300 hertz ac output we can also obtain 200 hertz ac output if we just make two sub cycles if we just make two sub cycle as compared to three sub cycle we are making for both positive and negative half cycles in this waveform we can see that during omega t is equals to 0 thyristor t1 t2 turned on it starts conducting and results into a positive waveform at omega t is equal to theta 1 T one, T two will turn off, but S one, S two start conducting. As S one, S two start conducting, they results into a negative peak, a small negative peak. This process goes on. 
and a full positive half is converted into three sub cycles this process will also be repeated for negative half cycle as this half is also converted into a three full sub cycles as we have discussed the waveform of bridge type cyclo converter now we will look around how the circuit diagram will works in this circuit diagram the thyristor t1 t2 and s1 s2 will be forward biased during positive half cycle of input ac that is terminal a will be positive and b is negative that is a will be positive and b is negative due to these positive and negative potentials the current will start from point a through thyristor t1 through the load and goes back to terminal b during this phase from terminal a the current flow through the thyristor s1 flows through the load in opposite direction and go back to the terminal b how this circuit works during positive half cycle of input ac actually we have broken down a positive half cycle full half cycle into positive current and negative current positive current is flowing because of thyristor t1 t2 and a negative current through the load is flowing because of thyristor s1 s2 now during the negative half cycle of ac input during negative half cycle of ac input terminal a will be negative b is positive a is negative b is positive so due to this due to this thyristor t3 and t4 will conduct in one section of thyristors and thyristor s3 and s4 will works in the another section of thyristor during this phase as terminal b is positive the current starts flowing through thyristor t3 through the load and through the thyristor t4 and back to the terminal a in the another half section of the circuit diagram thyristor s3 allo the current through the load in opposite direction and goes back to s2 and to the terminal b which is at negative potential so a full negative peak is broken down into a full sub cycle so we are actually converting a full cycles into a number of sub cycle that means we can convert a full ac cycle into number of sub cycle that is we can even convert a full cycles into four sub cycle six sub cycle eight cycle sub cycles depending upon our need we can broken down this bigger full cycle into number of sub cycle which is controlled by which is controlled by the turn on and turn off time of these thyristor thank you